So hi, hello everyone. So this is the continuation for the RGS basic for uh, beginners tools. So the next thing we are going to see is that displaying and uh, using of a table of contents, which is uh, which is going to be shown. So please open your arc map. From there you can just see the table of contents which is uh, useful for visualizing the data which is uh, being displayed so i have just shown you the two kind of data which is a uh, raster and vector so what is the use of table of contents you can just uh, click on the data and you can have a lot of options available in order to in order to just uh, check the info uh, like uh, what the feature consists of uh, if I just uh, open this attribute table you'll be having some informations about the data so for that table of contents is import important you can uh, go to the option properties from there you can search the general uh, informations like the name what is the source and uh, the processing of the data size etc you can also check the uh, extent of the data you can uh, edit some uh, display character of this data symbology you can just uh, change the color out here for example you can change the color of the data and uh, we have a lot of options available here you can copy it remove it zoom to layer and for uh, exporting the data as well so a lot of function is been uh, dependent on the type of contents for uh, visualizing the data as well as uh, for studying the uh, info about the data and processing it and manipulating so the next thing is that we are going to see how to use the search tab in ArcGIS. So this is the search tab tip. So basically if you don't find it here, you have to just click it here. You can see there is a search options available here. Just open it out here and just pin it so that it doesn't move. And you can search uh, the MXD file that is uh, the kind of file saved in ArcGIS. You can search the layers, features, raster images, everything which can be open in RGS and as well as tools. There are a lot of tools available for uh, processing, working and extracting of data. And finally images. You can just uh, search the image, search the data sets out here. So I'm going to show you an example. Now I'm going to such a tool you have to just type slope and search it so the tools will be straight away available for your usage so this, this is the tool so likewise we can just uh, search the uh, uh, that is uh, raster data vector data we have saved a mxt file you can just search it here and open it uh, using this option okay so you can use it for the previous search you can come back once again so i'm going to close it the next we are, next thing we are going to focus is about our catalog which is a uh, generally like a file manager which we use in our computer so it has been used to uh, just importing of the data exporting data it can create a you can create a geo database from here and uh, it's like a file manager you can browse and search the file wherever you have saved it you can uh, this is a home option where you can uh, uh, where you can begin and end the search you can search the geo database out here this is for arranging the files and uh, this is for connecting connecting to the folder for example uh, you need to 
uh, you need to connect to a folder or a drive you can just use it and just give ok so that it will be automatically uh, connected so this is uh, basically uh, specifying the types of files available okay so these are the tools which is uh, which are essential for uh, RGS beginners and uh, this is uh, important for uh, every uh, actions uh, for example you can you have to export the data for uh, processing the data for uh, editing the data these uh, tools are available so the rest, the rest of the advanced tool will be uh, given in a separate video in the upcoming videos. Thanks for watching GAS Madras. Please do subscribe.